Hi friends, it's Laura, this is Baker Drinks. Today we have a beautiful sunny day, so I'm gonna go out bourbon hunting. So my first stop was at Scapoose Liquor Store. They did not have anything that I needed to add to my collection, but that's whiskey hunting. You don't always get something at every store. So then I went to Hillsboro and I went to a new liquor store to me. It was called Baseline Liquor. This uh, was an amazing liquor store. I'll definitely be back. I'm disappointed that I hadn't been there before because I worked in Hillsboro for three months, about a year and a half ago, and I went to several liquor stores that were not great. Um, and somehow missed this one, which was really good. So uh, first thing, I saw boxes of the Old Forester single barrel. This is just for Oregon, and I can't pass that up. They're so good. Um, and then I saw this on the shelf, Old Elk Rye. This bottle I love. We have a lot of Old Elks, and honestly, this is the only one that I really like and we finished it, so I felt like I needed to replace it. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but when I saw it, I just knew I should get it. They also had a really large selection of whiskeys from the Pacific Northwest, which I thought was really cool. I did not buy any of them, but it's interesting to see the ever-growing selection of local whiskeys and I'm I mean I enjoy some of them I have not tried all of them but there's a lot of really good Pacific Northwest whiskey which sounds crazy because it's not anywhere near Kentucky but it's it's good stuff um, also on the shelf um, plenty of Buffalo Trace I see people all the time say they have trouble finding it which is crazy to me because it's on every store's shelf. Lots of them. Huge selection. Small bottles, big bottles, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want, they're usually there and they're cheap. I didn't need to pick up one of those because we have it and it's easy to find so I don't need backups. And then um, also, which I see at pretty much every liquor store and people must be passing on it even though it is really good. That's the Alberta Premium Cask Strength Rye. It's $80. I have one so I don't need to get one especially since it's so easy to find but if you've never tried it it's definitely one you should pick up if you like rye whiskey. It's got so much rye flavor and I know Canadian whiskey is not the aisle that or people that are into whiskey tend to gravitate to, but uh, the rye whiskeys from Canada seem to be amazing. I don't know. Um, so then after I left that store, I headed to Portland to Sip City. I had also never been to this store before and it was a really good store. It uh, was large. It had a parking lot, which for me is amazing. It's one of the reasons I try to avoid shopping in Portland because it's so frustrating for me to try to find parking and I drive a big vehicle and I'm not very good at parallel parking. So I try to find places with parking lots. This one had a parking lot and it was a big store. So first I had to get a backup. We, uh, Troy picked this bottle up and told me about this liquor store. Um, so Jack Daniels single barrel select this pick says for Uptown Liquor. I don't really know where Uptown Liquor is, but they did an amazing job with this pick. Um, the normal single barrel is good. I like it, but this one is so amazing. Um, we had to get a backup just so that we wouldn't run out of it. And you know, I do love a little, a little jewelry on my whiskey. Makes it look fancy. Uh, then I wanted to try this one. It interests me. I like that more of these bourbon companies are trying single malts. So Yellowstone, American single malt. This is 108 proof. I am excited to try it. I hope it's as good as I'm thinking it will be, but it's new. I haven't really heard much about it. 
and I decided to pick it up. Also pretty cheap. I think it was $55. I don't mind spending that on something that I'm hoping is good. And then, and then I got the Found North Batch 5. This is cask strength whiskey aged eight years, a blend of 73% 21-year-old and 27% eight-year-old whiskey. Uh, grain is 73% corn, 27% wheat, 116.2 proof. So uh, Found North, I absolutely love the bottles I have. And this is the first time I've ever seen a bottle in Oregon. The lady at the liquor store was extremely helpful. She was excited that I was buying this bottle because she just, she didn't really know a whole lot about it. She said she ordered it because she heard it was good and she was wondering if I'd ever tried anything from them. So I told her that I had a couple and that I liked them and I was excited to get this one. And then, you know, since it's Canadian, she did her great job of trying to sell me another bottle. She said they have Caribou Crossing, what I want it. Um, I have Caribou Crossing, but at least she knows her whiskey because a lot of the times we go to stores and they don't know anything. I ask them a question and they just look at me with a blank stare, like they have no idea what kind of whiskey I'm asking for. So I'll definitely go back to that store. They were very helpful. And and so then after that, I decided to hit, a, hit up Total Wine on my way home. Uh, that would be in Washington. They don't have total wine in Oregon because it's a liquor controlled state. So they, they're they all Oregon liquor stores. Um, so my main reason to go to total wine is because I, it's right next to crumble cookies. If you've ever had crumble cookies, you know that they're amazing. And it's really my excuse to go to total wine because while they have an enormous selection, I cannot stand the guy at the liquor store <laughs> because he always wants to show me pictures of his collection. He always tries to sell me stuff and he won't leave me alone. He just like keeps telling me about bottles, the same bottles every single time. And it, it's, it's not an enjoyable experience for me. But um, this time while I was there, he had me try a new brand, Bondstone, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I really don't know anything about this Bondstone. High Rye Bourbon. It says distilled in Kentucky, bottled by Kentucky Whiskey Bottling in, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Harrodsburg. Aged a minimum of four years, so I'm sure it's four years only. Um, so I tried the Double Oaked, the Spirit Select or something like that, and then the cask strength. So the cask strength is 61.4% alcohol, so 122.8%. Um, while I had not eaten anything, I hadn't had any alcohol, it was very enjoyable. Um, normally, I don't like anything that they're trying to sell me at Total Wine, but um, it was $50, so I picked up one as well. Um, and then the last bottle of the day, I I picked up a very cheap bottle. I don't normally go for bottom shelf, but um, I guess it's more of a curiosity because people are always talking about these bottom shelf bottles being so good. And I really have a hard time believing it. But you know, I picked up the Ancient Ancient Age, mostly because I think it was $13 and I don't ever see it. So let's try it. Nice little screw top. Ooh, a lot of bubbles in that, I guess. Smells, smells like bourbon. Nothing crazy about it. Sweet, caramel, sugar. That's what I'm getting. Sweet. It's very sweet smelling. It tastes very sweet too. Um, it's definitely not something I'm going to be reaching for, but for $13, it's not bad. It actually, maybe because I was thinking about it, it reminds me a lot of that Caribou Crossing. There's not a lot of notes with that one either. It's just sweet, caramel, not bad to sip on. Not something you're gonna crave though. 
Either way, cheers. Thank you for watching. I hope you find your bottles you're searching for too.